Okay, you guys, I'm back. Oh my gosh, it makes me so darn mad when my camera just turns off. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, gotta make sure I put that away. All right, so where I left off, I had to go through my camera and figure out where the heck I left off at. I don't think you guys saw... Let me get this out of the way. I can't believe I'm redoing this. Everyone says they have to. Okay, this is where I left off. This is the rest of the last bit of stuff I um, shop for at the thrift store. I got this thing of pencils. If I already show this, you guys, sorry. But I don't think I don't think I recorded this part. Uh, I got this bag of pencils. You guys know I like to do, I have a video on how you take um, colored pencils um, and use odorless paint thinner and make like alcohol markers out of it. Okay, dirt cheap, easy, and very effective. Um, so look for that video, it's below. Um, so I bought all these for three bucks. And this is like, I probably got three or four of each color in here. It's insane. And it has to be uh, wax-based uh, pencils, like, you know, Crayola, the cheapies. Nothing expensive. You could use your Prismacolors if you want. But um, you can use the cheap ones, which is way cool. Okay, I got some uh, really pretty milk glass. I love this. Love, love, love. This is the grapes. Like I always say, anybody who doesn't like... The grapes can send them to me. Just kidding. Um, it's that heavy. It's real nice and heavy. It's not the one you see through. I really like it. Very pretty. Okay. Um, I love Amy Brown. She's an artist, and her stuff is phenomenal. Look at this. I think I paid 50 cents for this, but it's just a little pencil holder. But look how pretty this fairy is. She paints nothing but fairies. I love it. Okay, and then I got some Amy Brown cards. Now I got these off of eBay. So this is not, this is now going to another section. I just want to show you them really quick. Gorgeous. Love the mermaid. Love the mermaid. And she does mermaids too, or mermaid fairies. Even better. Love. Love. So pretty. I think this pink one, isn't that pr gorgeous? This has to be one of my favorites. I love this little elf just sitting on this chest. Just fabulous. Love this one. So anyway, I just want to share those Amy Brown cards. I got those off of eBay. Ten bucks for those. All those. I thought that was a phenomenal price. Uh, last thing I'm going to show you is look at this, this milk glass bowl. Awesome. Real heavy, too. Only two bucks. Love it. Love, love, love. Okay, really quickly, you guys, I just want to share with you also. <clears throat> I'll put that there. I want to share with you, I'm working on a junk journal, like I told you guys, and I want to show you um, how it's coming so far. I got the cover made. This is a, uh, let me tell you real quick, this is a book. I, I always take the guts out of my books. I buy books all the time or get them for free, basically. Take the guts out of them. I make something else out of the guts of the book. Um, <clears throat> which I'll have to share that with you guys sometime. Um, and then you already have your book right here. If you have to, you can just take duct tape here. If it kind of, if you kind of rip it up a little bit, um, same MO front and back. I use book pages, um, encyclopedias, um, music note paper, same thing I always do. And then I did my homemade spray over it. Same thing here, homemade sprays. I also make this rust color, which I'll have to show you guys how I make this rust color. I put that in here too, plus my homemade spray. In the very end, I take Inca Gold, which you guys need to buy these. They're phenomenal. And use a coupon because they're expensive. These Inca Golds, look how pretty that is. I have like almost every color now. I only have a couple more colors to get. Joanne didn't have more. I already would have them. And I rub that on the top. Look how fabulous that is. Okay, so now let me show you this. It's going to be a tea, vintage tea junk journal. Um, Delhi 1961. She makes junk journals, and I love her style of junk journals. They're vintage, and so she collects all this vintagey stuff, which is totally my thing, and then puts it all together. And she's collecting all this stuff. Well, it's a bunch of junk, and she puts it together. So I like that idea, and that's how my junk journals are going to be. A bunch of vintage junk, vintage-inspired junk. Okay, so this is going to be a vintage, um, vintage tea junk journal. Look how pretty this is. I did a Finnevar inspired piece on here. So this is a teapot that I cut out of cardboard or a cereal box. And I used my brother's scan and cut. It has a, a teapot built into the system. A teapot die cut in the system. 
and um and then I finnabarred it does that look so cool I'm so excited I don't want to attach this until I put all my stuff in here and, and put all my stuff in the inside of it okay for the back I used I did it again same thing cut it in my brother's hand and cut the teapot and then I did a little technique on here to make this look like a rusted teapot and then this piece here comes from my Etsy shop and then the little clock is on there in the middle which I love that's from my Etsy shop too each each one of them you get six seven eight pieces for no more than two bucks usually it's around dollar fifty dollar seventy five so check out my shop for those okay so I think that turned out really cool and then I have redone my um I have redone my journal or uh, this was I said this was a um this was a uh, Midori inspired journal um but now it's turned into a journal it's a, it's a it's a journal it's a um appointment book it's um something for me to doodle in it's everything it's all in one book and I recreated this I've been inspired by um I can tell you guys just a second because I think I have her on my computer right now um pocket full of vintage she has an awesome way she has thought about keeping your life basically journaling your life by keeping a schedule when you keep your schedule you're actually journaling your life I won't go into the whole thing but when I go, when I give you guys a tour of this, I will go into that. Just got this little, um, this little piece of ephemera off of Pinterest. I love it. There's two other pieces that look similar to this. I got those too. Okay. So anyway, wanted to share all that with you guys. I know it's a long video. So sorry, but, um, I had a lot to share and I think I got it all done. Okay. If you guys haven't subscribed to my station, I'd love for you to do so. Um, if you can give this video a thumbs up, that would be great. Visit my shop, www.myfairytreasures.etsy.com. Oh, real quick, there's new stuff coming. I know I've been bad about it, but there's new metal embellishment pieces coming. So look for those next week. Um, also, I just started making some... I, I made a bunch of molds of a lot of the uh, vintage little or thrift treasures that I like to collect, but I never use them because uh, then I won't have them anymore. Um, and I made molds for them, and then I have used a... Um, oh, what do you call it? Um... Oh, my words are not coming. Um, okay, a plaster and a... Um, oh, God, my words are just not coming right now. Plaster and resin. I have a plaster and resin mixture. I've kind of created myself the combination of it and poured it into the molds. And then I've done some phenomenal, really cool decorating of the pieces. Those will be in my shop undecorated but i will give do a video on how i how i decorated these up with paint and glitter and all kinds of cool stuff so you can use them in your projects so look forward to that next week um i think that is it you guys talk to you guys in the next video bye bye